In this video, we study about relay, how it works. After that several types of relays will be discussed also. A relay is an electromagnetic switching device that is commonly used in electrical and electronic circuits to control the flow of current. It consists of an electromagnet and a set of contacts that open or close when the electromagnet is energized. Here are some key points about relays. Structure of relay. A relay typically consists of a coil, an armature, one or more sets of contacts, and a housing. The coil is an electromagnet that generates a magnetic field and an electric current passes through it. The armature is a movable part that is attracted by the magnetic field when the coil is energized. Operation of relay. When a current flows through the coil, it generates a magnetic field that pulls the armature towards it. This movement of the armature causes the contacts to either open or close. Relays can be categorized into two types based on their contact operation, normally open, NO, and normally closed, NC. In a normally open relay, the contacts are open when the relay is not energized, and they close when the coil is energized. In an NC relay, the contacts are closed in the resting state and open when the coil is energized. Functions Relays are used to control high power or high voltage circuits using low power or low voltage signals. They provide isolation between the control circuit and the controlled circuit, which can have different power sources or voltage levels. Relays are commonly used for applications such as switching on, off lights, motors, valves, and solenoids, as well as in protection systems and automation processes. There are several types of relays, each designed for specific applications and operating conditions. Here are some common types of relays. Electromechanical relays. These relays use mechanical contacts and an electromagnetic coil to control the switching operation. They are widely used and offer robust switching capabilities. Electromechanical relays can be further classified based on their contact configuration, such as Single Pole Single Throw SPST, relay. It has a single set of normally open or normally closed contacts. Single Pole Double Throw SPDT, relay. It has a single set of normally open and normally closed contacts. Double Pole Single Throw DPST, relay. It has two sets of contacts, each with a normally open or normally closed state. Double Pole Double Throw DPDT, relay. It has two sets of contacts. One set is normally open and the other is normally closed. Solid state relays, SSRs SSRs use solid state components like thyristors or transistors to perform the switching operation without any moving parts. They offer faster response times, higher reliability, and longer electrical life compared to electromechanical relays. SSRs are often used in applications where silent operation, high-speed switching, or resistance to mechanical wear and vibration is required. Reed relays. Reed relays consist of reed switches enclosed in a glass tube and are activated by a magnetic field. When the coil is energized, the magnetic field causes the reeds inside the tube to make or break contact. Reed relays are compact, have high switching speeds, and are often used in applications where low-level signals or precise switching is required. Latching relays. Latching relays have two stable states, and once switched, they remain in that state even if the power is removed. They require a short electrical pulse to switch between states, and this pulse can be applied in one direction to set the relay and in the opposite direction to reset it. Latching relays are commonly used in applications where power consumption needs to be minimized, such as in battery power devices. Thermal relays Thermal relays are designed to protect motors and other equipment from overcurrent conditions. They use a bimetallic strip or a heating element that expands or contracts based on the current flowing through it. When the current exceeds a predetermined threshold, the bimetallic strip bends or the heating element triggers a trip mechanism, which interrupts the circuit and protects the equipment. Protective relays. Protective relays, as mentioned in the previous response, are specialized relays used in power systems to detect abnormal conditions and initiate protective actions. They include overcurrent relays, distance relays, differential relays, voltage relays, frequency relays, and more, each designed for specific protection functions. These are just a few examples of relay types, and there are many more specialized relays available for various applications, 
including time delay relays, contactor relays, polarized relays, and more. The selection of the appropriate relay depends on factors such as the application requirements, electrical load characteristics, switching speed, and environmental conditions. Thanks for watching my video. Like my video, subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for more videos.